Hello and welcome to David's World. Today we are here in Falkirk at what's called the Kelpies. Right behind me here is the car park which is free for this one. It holds 75 cars and even though this is a weekday I got the last space so expect it to be busy. We follow this road and there's another car park but you pay for that one but it's right beside them. Behind me over here is a children's park which is very impressive and also a big lake with ducks and swans in. But we walk along this path which runs right along the canal side Okay, as I said, this next car park charges you to park and they have now put the signs up to how much it costs. <clears throat> £3 for a car, a pound for a motorbike and £5 for a motorhome. Now this place is normally quite full. So, as we say, we'll start when you get closer to it, because there's no point in you watching me walk along this path. So, catch you. Okay, that's the path we've just come along. And when you come around the corner, this is what you see. That second car park is here, the one you pay for. Also, there's toilets right beside the car park and a bus stop and they now have electric bikes. So, as you see, as you see, these are the Kelpies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross over to the other side and walk down the walk path on the other side of the canal As you see, the path goes all the way down. There is a small visitor centre over here with coffee and thing. And we'll continue all the way down this path until we rejoin. That path actually heads off to Falkirk Wheel, which we've been to in the past. So We'll continue down until we reach the bottom of the you. Okay, now we've sat here and if we turn that way, you see they're right over my shoulder. Now, so what are they? They are two horses heads. They are very, very large and they're made of sheets of metal to make the shape. Now, on behind them there is the motorway which goes to Glasgow and Edinburgh and on this side we have These lovely power lines 
which when you take pictures from the other side you have to be very careful not to get in your picture. But this side of the path is quite quiet and you will get some more different shots from this side if you're visiting and of course you want to take a couple of shots. So we are up here. I'm sure you can see the traffic going past. The road is right here. Now this is a fully operational canal and the canal goes straight between the horses heads here to come out. So from this direction, from here, you go straight through the heads head on. There is of course a cafe over here, ice cream cellar and all of that and this is all of the boats but from this direction all you have to do is concentrate on not getting the big trucks in, the t in your picture but as you see if you park in the free car park it costs you nothing to walk around it is part of a park the path continues on underneath the bridge, underneath the motorway, so you can walk for quite a distance. So let's continue round and I'll show you some pictures from the other side. Okay, we have now come around over the bridge, which was over here, and we're now on the highest road right next door to the motorway and this is what you can see up here you have the trees and the occasional view of the heads Time, they light up with different colours. I didn't know that and it's not said really anywhere other than I seen a photo when I was looking up what people had took here and there's some with them red and with them blue. So there's different colour changing lights inside. Since if you take it they're not sealed they are open because you might, I don't know, no you can't see through. But the light and the wind all passes through because they're not solid panels. They are different shaped panels which have been bolted or fixed together. Okay. But as you see from this side you do pick up the power lines in the background. So it's very difficult from this direction to get a image without them. And you'll probably have to photoshop them out. We are now standing on a bridge over. So the path continues all the way back along there on the opposite side of the road back to the car park. It's not a big walk unless you want to make it. There is other paths leading off which give you a much longer walk if that's what you want but today we've come to see the horses heads or the kelpies whichever you want to call them but it's a weird name to call them so thanks for watching i'll put up some pictures and you can have a look at them okay bye for now